Hey there folks, this is Ian. I'm an artist at Pingua, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use assistants when drawing in Krita. Assistants are a sub-tool that you can use when you are working in Krita to make a series of guides and rulers that your other tools can adhere to when you're drawing and painting. So to start, we have an open A4 page. I'm going to go over here to the assistant tool and in tool options over here, I'm just going to show you in the drop down, there are several different types. I'm going to start off, uh, let's start with the ellipse tool. And to use any of these tools, you're going to click in the area and construct your tool first. So with the ellipse tool, I'm going to click once, determine the width, and then draw out the other dimension. And when I'm set, I'm done. Uh, this little icon that pops up here are the controls. This first one is to drag and move your guides. The second one is to toggle on or off visibility. And the third one is to remove it completely. Uh, on the arms here, you can actually change them once you've put down your ellipse, if you want to shift either direction. And now working with all of these assistant tools is very similar. What you have to do, you're gonna go back up to your brush tools or whatever tool you're using. I'm gonna, just gonna use a pencil for this demo. And over in the tool options, we have an option snap to assistance. Gonna make sure that is on. You can change how much it snaps to the system by changing the magnetism here. And that will give you some leeway if you want to use it as a rough guide, but not strictly adhere to the shape. So for now, I'm going to show you how that works. Just take the tool and as we draw, it's going to snap along the line of that tool. Now, if we go back to assistance and we turn this off, you can see the line that I drew. So, the ellipse tool is useful for drawing circles and ellipses when you want an exact size. But say you want something different, say you want to follow this general curvature but you don't want to make a ton of guides to follow. I'm just going to erase this. And I'm going to go back into my tools and I choose concentric ellipse. Works very similar to the first one. Drawing out two dimensions. But now, when I go back to my pencil tool, you can see as I move my cursor, it's changing the guide for that. I could even extend beyond the limits. So I can make a circle here. And once you start, it defines that ellipse. And then I can make a smaller one inside. Inside. Go outside the bounds of the page and it'll continue to stick to that ellipse using this as the center point. And again, go back to tools. I can remove it, and there's my image. The next tools we'll talk about are rulers. There are three types of rulers in Krita that you can use when you're making assistance. I'll show you the basic rule. The basic ruler, you're going to define a point, draw to another point, and this is your ruler. I take my tool, I draw, You'll notice my cursor, even though I'm moving my hand beyond the limits of this line, it will keep my drawing restricted to the length of that actual ruler. Go to the assistant tool, erase it. I have a line exactly as long as I set the, the ruler guide. But if I go into infinite ruler and I do something similar, I'm just going to make a small ruler right here back in my tool you see now it's extended it beyond the limit so I can draw anywhere even though my assistant was small I can draw the full width of the page and even beyond if I go back to here I erase this if I move this layer around you can actually see what was outside the bounds of the canvas is still there And finally, probably the most useful of the guides, we're going to go to the parallel ruler. And what that does, it works similar. We're going to define a line. Then I'm going to choose a brush tool, but I don't have to be right on that line. I can draw lines here or anywhere across the width of the canvas, and it's 
going to adhere to the direction, the orientation of that assistant. And you can use multiple rulers. So if I go back and I draw a second assistant parallel to this one and go back into my tool, depending the orientation of the stroke, if I move up and down, it'll adhere to the vertical ruler. If I move this way, it'll adhere to the horizontal ruler. Again, it's parallel. As long as I start on the page, whatever direction I'm moving, it's going to stick to that. If I try and draw a diagonal, it's just going to choose whatever I'm closer to, if I'm closer to a vertical or horizontal. And you can use as many assistants as you want, if you want, to get really complicated. Erase those. The next linear tool that I can show you is the spline tool. If you ever worked with a French curve, this is similar to that. So you're going to make a series of points and then adjust the curvature of that point from both ends. And this will allow you to draw very accurate curves. But then again, it's limiting your stroke to the limits of the assistant. I'm going to turn this off. There's my line. And you can get very complicated with the spline tool. Now we have the vanishing point assistant. Vanishing point is very useful for when you're doing perspective based drawings. You're going to click a point and it's going to give you a series of radiating lines that extend from one location. You can drag this around and pull the endpoints. So you can see specific angles and you can move it like so. Now if I go back into my tool, lines that I draw will radiate back to that center point. They're always going to go to the vanishing point. Something to note with all of your assistant tools, you can reduce the opacity so it's less visible when you're working if you just want it in the background. I'm going to use a vanishing point along with a couple of parallel rulers, a horizontal parallel ruler and a vertical. And I can use these to quickly rough out simple one point perspective box. Depending on the orientation of my line, once I start making my stroke, that's going to determine which it snaps to. Angles can sometimes be tricky. Roll Z is always there. And that's how it works. Now, if we click the center point and hold shift, we can drag it along the horizon and stretch it out beyond the confines of the canvas so we can get a more naturalistic vanishing point. I'm gonna add a second vanishing point, roughly in line with the first one, and drag it out to the opposite side off of the canvas. And then I'm going to drop in my horizontal and vertical parallel rulers. You can use guides to try and get these more perpendicular and parallel. Now I'll go back into my brush tool, make sure Snap to Assistance is on, and I can draw objects that travel to both vanishing points.
Three point perspective can be achieved by adding one more vanishing point and just setting it as the apex or nadir, so the top or bottom vanishing point. We can stick one up high or down low. And then we can draw in three point perspective. One final tool to show you in the assistance is the fisheye point. So the fisheye point assistant gives you a fisheye lens effect if you want some distortion in your perspective. The easiest way to set it up is to make one that goes vertically and a second that goes horizontally and then to try and match those up as much as possible. Drag this around. And you can grab your handles after you've created them to make some fine adjustments. Now, when I go back into my tool, you notice that there are two axes that I can draw along. So you can get that fisheye effect. You can also use these in conjunction with your standard infinite rulers. If you want some more perspective in there, you can also use it with the vanishing point rulers. Drag center lines into point. This one gets tricky with detection sometimes. You may have to do your stroke for a few times before it decides to snap to the correct line. And there you have a quick overview of all of the assistant tools in Krita. So take a look at them, see how they can help your drawing. Until next time, keep drawing. Bingo up.